Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I brought out an old relic here from my electronics lab. This was, uh, I don't know, if my second or third ever Benini motor. And this was made out of scrap parts from an old photocopying machine. These were electronic solenoids, so when you apply a voltage, the metal rod would shoot out and do something inside the copier. And this happened to be, there happened to be three of them in the machine I gutted back then in the day. These were, I don't even know if those are the proper transistors. Everything was salvaged in this. This was a 100% completely salvaged device back then. And even the wheel was an old roller skate wheel I got for free way back long, long ago. So... I dragged it out because it's getting cold out in my shop and I brought it upstairs here in the house to work on and uh, I'm impressed. I have, back in the day when I built this, I didn't have really good meters and equipment and I have this really nice power supply that shows I'm only pulling 20 milliamps at about 12.9 volts. I adjusted it for to simulate an average battery at rest and only pulling 20 milliamps out of this little thing and it's humming along pretty good i put some bubble foil under it because it was vibrating through the wood and amplifying the sound pretty obnoxiously here i have a very very dead lawnmower battery it's a lawnmower starter battery that had no voltage no power at all and i hooked up a electrolytic capacitor in parallel with some wires across the leads which boosts the amount of energy that goes into the battery from the pulses from the motor. Uh, if any of you don't know anything about a Benini motor, how it works, I'll try to remember to put the links down below. I've written many articles and done videos on them in the past. But it took me a little bit to get it wired again and get it working a lot of a lot of leads this wasn't working anymore it has suffered some rust at one point in time for some reason so I bypassed it and ended up putting a 150 ohm resistor so I can't fine-tune it but it's running now I've got a little probe LED voltmeter here I don't have any meters here they're all at work uh, it starts out high, and then it jumps down to whatever the stable voltage. Ah, we're up to 5.7 volts. Does that show up on there? 5.6. I notice that that does slow down when I hook this up. It doesn't change the current, but it changes the motor speed when I have this on here. But we are up to 5.5 volts. I'm probably going to pause this video, shut everything down, show you this at rest, and show you what this is doing at rest after uh, maybe two hours, two and a half, three hours of runtime. So there that is. Just an old, old, old. It has yellowed with time and age. I've had these for a long time, these roller skate wheels. Original bearings. A little wobbly, but that's great for the Bedini motor. Great. You want loose bearings. And some ceramic hobby magnets that were heat glued on i do believe i sanded these a little bit to make flat edges well back when i built this these this is ancient this thing is old at one point in time i put it on a wooden base which was much more stable but this thing was just a, a heap of parts and wires laying on a table all the time and i it stays working i'm very pleased with that so let's see after a couple minutes of rest if we have anything in oh yeah it's fading this does not like it's at 4.0 volts but it fades this does not like the lower voltage but it is reading 4.0 volts so the battery does have some bit of charge considering we're only pulling 20 milliamps from the power supply and it's only been going a couple hours a dead 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 lead acid battery i'm pleased with that so I'll hook the power back up, 
give that a spin. And there it sits. And we should be up to five and a half volts. So there is just a little bit of an update from an old, old Bedini motor that's been out in the shop all these years. I just thought I'd share that with you because I'm going to start doing more experiments and projects with alternate energy again in the coming weeks and months. Winter seems to be when I do that the most. So, stay tuned. I've also been talking to an AI, um, Grok to be precise, and been getting some really, really interesting information from the AI. Uh, once I convinced it to forget arguing with me about free energy and uh, conservation of energy according to the laws of thermal dynamics applied to electricity. Once we got around that, we started talking about some really interesting details. And I'm starting to post that on my blog. So I'll let you know when I'm ready for that. One of the articles is there, the doityourselfworld.com. And it's on my article site. And I'll be updating some more and doing some videos on that too. Pretty interesting stuff. Well, brief video. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm not making money on this thing anyway. So I will just uh, end it at that and hope to see you guys around. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Playing around with alternate energy. Talk to you later.